At Walmart, we got a variety bag of Doritos and Cheetos, uh, Puffs Crunchy, Cool Ranch, and Nacho Cheese Doritos. Uh, we bought this Kellogg's Apple Jacks with Star Marshmallows. We've never had Apple Jacks with marshmallows before. We figured it would be fun to try. Uh, I bought some more of the Lance Toasty. Uh, these are peanut butter sandwich crackers. I love them. Uh, bought some light mayonnaise some creamer for our coffee we're not out yet but we went ahead and got it and sweetener for coffee uh, we bought some crushed pineapple um, i bought a popcorn tin uh, there are so many to choose from the pictures but kevin and i both were attracted to this one immediately just because it looks fun and festive and i bought it for the kids to eat on when they come over and um, usually you get three different kinds in here you get uh, caramel and cheese and regular just butter popcorn. Um, this is the Martha White buttermilk cornmeal mix. Uh, we bought some more uh, packing tape and I bought some Pantene shampoo. They do not have the big containers like Meyer, so I need to buy that at Meyer really. Um, and then I bought two sizes of uh, Coke Zero is basically what this is. Uh, they, this was the last one of the full bottles. And then I bought some smaller bottles. I bought them because um, I will probably drink a couple of these on Thanksgiving. Um, and then I wanted to have some to offer to people on Thanksgiving. And then I bought four of the A&W uh, root beers. And then Kevin got himself some more McCafe coffee. This is his favorite kind. So we forgot to show you at Walmart, we also bought some Aquafina water. We left it in by the front door and so we forgot to bring it in here. So we bought some Aquafina water, but I took the tape off from around the um, outside edge of the popcorn tin and I figured if you've never bought one of these, chances are you've, you've bought one. But if you haven't, it was $5 for the popcorn tin. I think if you go to Aldi, they're a little bit cheaper. They're four something, I think. Uh, but this is what they look like. And it's really cool because, um, well, it's not cool anymore, but it was. When I was growing up, you could get these popcorn tins. It was so neat. They would have like a puzzle, like whatever the picture was on the side, they would have a puzzle attached to the top and you could work the puzzle. It was the coolest thing. And then I remember one year, I think it was Coca-Cola, had like metal cars like die cast cars and trucks on the top of these lids that you could collect now they're not giving you anything but the popcorn but it's it's usually good popcorn i haven't had it in years so i can't really comment on it uh but it's usually really good popcorn and it's just for the kids to enjoy so i think they'll like it at Kroger, we bought some Clifty Farms uh, sliced country ham. If you don't know the difference between city ham and, and country ham, is country ham is salty. And so for Thanksgiving, we always like to have salty country ham. I bought uh, two one-pound packages of hamburger meat or ground beef. Um, a package of uh, cream cheese. They were out of the Philadelphia cream cheese in the original. I bought some sour cream and some eggs, a gallon of milk, butter, uh, some light whip topping, uh, spaghetti classics, that's what one of the things of hamburgers for, uh, some mild cheddar shredded cheese, that's a two pound bag, some Allen's Italian green beans, uh, two cans of cream of chicken, one can of tomato paste, uh, they did not have one big block or, or bigger blocks of Colby cheese, and I really wanted Colby, so I bought four small uh, blocks of Colby cheese. And then I did not know Mike Sells makes uh, fried pork rinds, uh, so we've never tried them. So we bought the original and the barbecue, and then we needed some pretzels. And they were all out of like rolled gold pretzels and stuff. So we just bought the Simple Truth Organic Mini Pretzel Twist. At Walmart, we bought 64 of the Reese's Big Cups Peanut Brittle. I love these. I think they're absolutely wonderful. And I think it was Hope who told me that these were like limited edition. They weren't going to be out. So kind of got me freaked out. So I bought 64 and they do have more. So uh, who knows? Next week you might see 64 more. I might just start stocking up. Let's see. When are they good until? They're good until August of 2022. So I may buy more. Um, 
we bought all of our salad stuff for thanksgiving we bought a tomato some carrots a cucumber head of lettuce we bought a couple of onions some celery and i buy jumbo baking potatoes just because i just think they're easier to deal with for kevin's lunchtime review uh, he bought a lot of meals. All of these meals can be microwaved, and so that's why we chose them for lunchtime review. So they do have some other Patty's Good Life meals, but they are not microwavable. Uh, this is the mac and cheese, and this is a beef brisket stew. And then we got two of the Martha Stewart kitchen. This is four cheese macaroni and cheese and scalloped potatoes. They also had a... Um, um, spinach some kind of spinach thing and i knew kevin wouldn't want that so i didn't even suggest it and then we got a great value this is a cheesy ba uh, potato bake and then this is southwestern style chicken and pasta we went back to walmart the kids are going to spend the night tonight uh, the grandkids so I, we they love cosmic brownies they were out last time we tried to get them but they had them this time i bought some of these pans these are just uh, they're really good for casseroles and stuff like that and then i bought two more boxes of these reese's cups so somebody left a comment and said yes these are uh, limited they're only out for Christmas so stock up on them while you can and so the place where I'm finding them at Walmart is they have a Reese's display and it's like a huge display box and underneath that display box they have these the only bad thing out uh, at least at our Walmart used to when uh before the self-check when when you would go through a lane they would be able to hit in a quantity like 16 quantity and then they would be able to scan one and it would come up well you they can't do that anymore their system does not recognize it and so you literally have to scan um kevin had to scan 30 uh he just took one out and um scanned it 32 times but you just have to stand there to, not that it takes a long time but i don't know why they quit doing the quantity thing but just so you know we went in a uh, ruth hunt candies and it is a local ruth hunt is a local candy store and we found these it's called couch mix kicking blue couch mix this is buffalo blue cheese uh this is a sour cream and wasabi wabi wasabi it's called this is sweet racha fire honey sriracha and this is a cheddar and a cheddar meat spicy chipotle cheddar mix and we'll review all of these but we had never seen any of those before we also bought uh, these pretzels uh, this is a variety pack of pretzels and uh, we figured it would be really fun to try them with the different toppings and see if they uh, taste any different um, they're very pretty. And then we bought a bunch of different fudge. So this is from Valley Fudge and Candy. We bought them at Ruth Hunt, but that's where, where they bought them. And they're in Coon Valley, Wisconsin. So this is the Strawberry Margarita Fudge. This one is Caramel Apple Pie. Chocolate Cherry Cheesecake. And it looks like Neapolitan. It does, yeah. This one is Cafe Mocha. Then we have Chocolate S'mores. Okay, and before you say it, what would you guess that flavor is before we tell you? It's green and white. I think people are going to guess Key Lime. But you would it be, is. You would be wrong. It is Dill Pickle. <laughs> dill, dill Pickle Fudge. Okay, and then these are Orange Creams. These are Bourbon sea salt caramels and then these were mint julep and then in meyer i bought a uh, a large bottle of pantene shampoo and then if you've heard of david's cookies i bought a david's cookies chocolate overload cake and a rainbow cake and then i bought a harry potter uno game i did not need it at all but it was five dollars i like harry potter so i bought it and then uh, we have a local, another local candy company. It's called Sharps Candies. Yeah. We have reviewed stuff mm -hmm. from uh, Sharps before, but we have not. We actually did a tour of their shop, but we have not uh, reviewed their fudge. So this is maple walnut. 
This is vanilla pecan, chocolate pecan, chocolate fudge, peanut butter fudge, cookies and cream fudge, and then these are pecan roll, it's mixed. So you have nougat in the middle and butter, butterscotch. butterscotch in the middle. And then these are Sharps candies. Uh, this is uh, bourbon chocolates, but one is- uh, Two of them are dark and two of them are long, uh, milk. Yes, okay. At Home Goods, I bought some other things, but this is the only thing I can show. Uh, we bought a new um, um, measuring uh, cup. It was only $5. And we, we needed another one. So we have a glass measuring cup and we, we just needed an additional one. Um, these are from Macy's hmm? or Dillard's? Macy's. Macy's. I don't know if you say it Frangio, Frango. I don't know how you would say this, but this- Frango, Frango? I don't know how you say We have never reviewed this brand before. This is, these are a limited edition assorted liqueur chocolates. You get amaretto, orange, rum, and Irish cream. I don't know if I could see that at all, but. And then we bought the, uh, this is a, uh, gonna be a candy cane, and then milk chocolate sea salt caramels, raspberry dark chocolates, and dark chocolate mints. They make a lot more flavors of these. Unfortunately, they do not, or they did not at Macy's, have an assorted box like this with all their different flavors. You had to buy them in single boxes and they, they didn't have little boxes of all them. So we got what we could get. In a kiosk in the mall, this place was called Delicious and Delightful. And I hope Georgianne is watching this because Georgianne sent us some uh, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin spice box. pecan myrtles from Long Grove, the company. Well, they had this whole kiosk was all long grove items. So this is a just a pecan myrtle with milk chocolate. This is a creamy white peppermint cookies. This is a dark chocolate sea salt caramel. This is creamy white Bavarian pretzel with nonpareils. And this, I can't wait, is a milk chocolate peanut butter cup. Look how thick that is. Mm. It looks wonderful. And then lastly, at Walmart, we bought some uh, Nesquik, because that's what the grandkids like. And Kevin's gonna be reviewing these on his Lunchtime Review channel. This is Great Value Walmart brand pulled pork and sweet corn cake and butter doodles. At Walmart, uh, Kevin's gonna be reviewing this on his Lunchtime Review channel. This is the new Jimmy Dean breakfast bowl. It is hot sausage and salsa verde. Uh, we bought two packages of quilted northern toilet paper, and we bought an assortment of Reese's peanut butter trees because they're really, really good. They have a, a milk chocolate and the white cream. And then at Kroger, we bought a, a Betty Crocker a party rainbow chip cake and the frosting. And we bought some Kroger brand party cups. These are just birthday batter ice cream cups. We bought a gallon of milk and I bought four uh, Coke Zero. I'm still calling them Coke Zero even though they're Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, Coke Zero. And then we bought four of the A&W uh, Diet A&W or Zero Sugar Diet A&W. <laughs>